Hey everyone, welcome back to the place where we're testing every single mask on Amazon, even ones with 74 reviews. We are scraping the bottom here, but I do it for the people. Time to get your gangrene on. That's right, GRZ, we are testing you in my house. This is actually not my house, by the way. That would be weird. If I had all this stuff in my house, like if I had all this stuff in my house, I would really question my sanity. But whoa, did you see this? This is the second time. Okay, this is the second time I've seen individual packaging for can 95s and it was right after another one. And like, it's just a very, it's very satisfying, taxily satisfying. I don't hate these bags. I mean, this is not the worst thing that I've seen. All right, let's, uh, let's get our gangron on. What does that mean? What does it mean? No one knows what it means, but it's provocative. Gonna give the people what they want. Oh, wow, okay, okay, we are getting our gang run on. Dude, this, this, this is exciting. I'm excited, I'm, I am actually excited. It's four o'clock uh, and uh, we're about to test the shit out of this thing. I think this is a real can 95 mask, which is like what, the second or third one? It takes a lot to get me excited, clearly. Uh, let's look at this. All right, what is happening? What is happening? All right, so first of all, we've got the ASMR masks here. Um, and they're all individually, you know, which wastes a lot of plastic, granted. Um, but it's really nice from a sanitary point of view. And look at this. I don't know what all this means, but if you've got a bunch of letters and stuff on your mask, it seems very legit. So this one says uh, particulate filtering half mask model GR200. It's got the manufacturer name. And then, oh, okay, these are not KN95s. This is uh, CE, uh, which is a, a European standard. And I think it's legit. It says the EN149 uh, FFP2. So this is actually an FFP2. It's not a KN95. So, um, so one point of fact here, they actually are saying on the listing that it's a CAN 95, and it's a CAN 95 style mask, but saying that it's a CAN 95 means that it's being held to CAN 95 standards, which this probably is, because the European standards, I think, are higher. Um, and, it, and it seems like they're doing all of the European standards on here. Um, I'm looking at the airflow resistance. It's 156 pascals. That's pretty breathable. Um, I've got the manufacturing name on there. That's pretty good. Let's try the... Oh, come on. Oh, we got gangrons. Oh, man. What a letdown. Those ear loops are horrible. Oh, that's the worst ear loops of the day for sure. All right, let's do the smell test. What the actual f <laughs> Oh my God. It's so bad. Oh, oh, it's ammonia. It's ammonia. It's the thing, it's the smell that you smell right before the villain in the movie makes you pass out. That's what this is. That is really bad. Oh man, gangron. You had me going. And then, and then the ear loops and then this. Ah, oh, I mean, at least, you know, as a, you know, as a consolation here, uh, you did, you did pretty well. I mean, you did pretty well. 99.650, that's, that's a really high filtration. But there are other masks. There are just other masks, other fish in the sea uh, when it comes to uh, choosing a mask, and I wouldn't choose this one. But, um, you know, had a, lot of, had a lot of good points from a technicality standpoint. All right, thank you guys so much for watching this. Uh, if you have enjoyed watching this as much as Eric is gonna enjoy editing it, then, Smash that like button, give me a subscribe, and I will catch you on the next test.